Alright boys and girls, I have an absolute treat for you today. Something I'm really excited about, can't wait to share it with you, so let's get into it. Alright, if you're new here guys, my name is Mitch. I am the guy from Big Rig Racing and I've been building a Hyundai XL race car to take to the track that will fit me in it. Now, you currently are looking at the roof of the car and I'm not standing on anything but the floor behind it and I am 6 foot 10 and I had to cram myself into this small race car. And one of the things that I have been doing with this car has been exceptionally conscious about the safety aspects I put into this car. So the roll cage has probably got more bars than is actually needed only because I wanted to be safe if I took anyone else for a ride in the car. I wanted them to be just as safe as what I was. I made sure to get myself really good quality safety equipment like fire suit or your like your fire suit um, boots um, fireproof underwear or socks uh, we don't have to wear the un fireproof underwear underneath our suit but we'll probably get to that really good balaclava and a helmet that is up to standard for those of you guys who have been watching from the beginning of the channel you would know that i actually started this channel to docu document myself in go-karts. I had like probably two or three videos on me racing go-karts but then I made the shift towards building this car for various reasons. Um, you can go back and watch those videos way back when and see why. Now when I first started racing I used this helmet right here. When I first started racing go-karts this was the helmet. It's a Kabuto uh, motor motorcycle helmet and quite frankly it is pretty light considering. Um, Obviously in a go-kart you don't need to wear um, a Hans device and so I just went with a motorbike helmet to get me started and it was quite good to um, get me out on track and enjoy racing with. As time progressed guys, um, that helmet I just felt like probably wasn't quite safe enough for what I wanted. Probably perfectly fine but being safety conscious I wanted to be a little bit more safer so I was on a family holiday over to America and I wanted to get something that if I was in an accident it would protect me but then is it also if I transition to something like a race car it would still protect me I'd be able to use it there so I ended up getting this Zamp car racing helmet now I could use this in go-karts um, it had all the provisions to put Hans posts in right there um, but at the end of the day this thing is mega heavy and when I'm saying heavy in the, in, the, well, in the world of helmets, this thing weighs about two, just over two kilos for me. Which, when you're putting that on top of your head, and if you're in an accident, that is two kilos going forward, sideways, everywhere, and it is really, really, um, it puts a lot of strain on your neck. And I persisted with it, and when I got this helmet, um, I was a little bit younger, and my head was a little bit of a different shape, and now this was this one's about five years old. It's due for an upgrade, but it was still um, putting a lot of pressure in the seam of my balaclava down the middle of my forehead. Put a lot of pressure in the forehead there and give me quite a bit of a headache towards the end of a race. So I was in a bit of a predicament. Do I stay with this helmet and put up with the headaches and throw some Panadol down, or do I look at upgrading? And fortunately, I have some amazing supporters of mine that came through and said, "Hey." We're going to hook you up with a new helmet. Uh, it was an early Christmas present. And so I'm about to show you my very new Bell GT6 carbon helmet. Let's have a look. Here it is, the Bell Carbon GT6 Series Helmet, and I must say, this thing right here is incredibly light. Um, I mentioned before, my old Zamp helmet came in at about two kilos. This thing right here comes in at a lightweight 940 grams, like this. Um, you put it on your head, you feel the safety inside. There is padding all the way through. Um, it's got some awesome features which we'll talk about. 
But one of the things I really, really like about it was the weight. Um, and being a bigger guy, I do not have a pinhead. I do not have a tiny head. I've got a big head. But at the end of the day, if I was to get in an accident, my head is in proportion to my body, and that is extra weight that would then have to be going forward. I throw two kilos on top of that, and not only is it the weight of my head and my helmet going forward, but the Hans device then has to try and stop that. So, I needed a helmet that was gonna be comfortable, protective, and light, and this thing does all those things, and it is absolutely perfect. I absolutely love it. And there's one feature, or two, two, three features that I think make this thing stand out. I'll show you those now. Okay, so what makes this thing so darn special? Well, it is one lightweight, it is carbon. Um, it has air vents on the top, on the front, on the sides, all the way around here. And the protective uh, layer of the padding in there with the Nomex interior is ultra, ultra comfortable. When I put this on for the first time, it was like having a pillow wrapped around your head, but you still felt protected. Now, when I race, I do wear my Ear Mold Australia in-ears, and I've tried this on with the in-ears on, and it is spectacular. So, so comfortable. The other thing that I like about this is you can run a Bell Helmets peak on this helmet. So you can take the visor off, you can put the peak on and allow a little bit more airflow to come in through the visor um, to, give, to give you a bit, bit more breathability through that helmet. The other thing is that through the interior of this channel and through the padding in here, you can run your radio communications and also a drink tube with the dedicated uh, little, little grooves that they've run through the helmet uh, to keep you hydrated during a race and also be able to talk to um, the people on the side of the track. It is one of the newer helmets out, I believe it came out uh, late last year or this year. Um, there are other versions of this, there is the HP6 which is the more, much more expensive helmet than this one. It runs at around I think seven to eight thousand dollars. This one in Australia will set you back around twenty-three to twenty-four hundred dollars. Um, and like I said, I had someone get this for me as a gift for an early Christmas present because they knew the troubles I was having with the other one. And I cannot thank them enough because it is awesome. Absolutely spectacular. You put it on and you do not even know really that you've got it on your head. All right, so some of you will be asking for that amount of money, what do you get with your helmet? Well. You get the helmet your, itself with the clear visor. Now you can get clear visors, uh, sorry, um, different colored visors for this. They range in price in Australia. I think they start at around the 200 and something dollar range all the way up to about 450 to 480 uh, for your Iridium visors and your mirror, mirror visors. Uh, I wanted the Peak for mine and the Peak was about $180. Um, that again is in Australian dollars. A different parts of the world may be cheaper um, but if I was going to get a safe helmet, I wanted to be exactly how I wanted it, and so I went for the peak option. You do also get the uh, the chin guard. So this just sits over your chin, uh, just helps with uh, keeping dust and stuff out. I'm not sure. I never run one. I took mine out. Um, that's why it's here. Um, you do get this with your helmet. You get this awesome. Travel bag, um, helmet fits lovely. It's a nice soft, uh, almost like a cotton material, microfiber material to keep your helmet safe. And you get your, uh, your little tool to, in here to do your tool to do your visors and change them out. Um, and then you get all the manuals and stuff like that as well. So, that's pretty much it. That's what you get with your Bell GT6 uh, carbon series helmet. It is fantastic, and in the coming videos, I'm going to be uh, mounting up the radio communications, um, a drink system for it, because uh, if you've ever seen any of my videos like I'm actually starting to do now, I sweat an incredible amount, and when you're sitting in the car waiting to go out on track, it'd be nice just to have some sort of fluids coming into my system to keep me hydrated, 
Um, and so I'll be going and building my own drink system running off the other paddle shift I've got on the steering wheel in my car. That I've got the paddle shift for the radio. I'll be setting one up for a drink system. Um, so I'll be running the cabling and all the drink system through this helmet um, for, uh, for that to then connect into the car side. And I'll be hopefully taking care of some little uh, connectors, some quick radio, quick disconnect uh, fittings that I can then uh, build myself. So it's easy just to connect me straight into the car. I don't have to worry about the radio and then the drink. I'll just plug one straight in and uh, away we go. So I'm stoked. Bell has produced a quality helmet for a reasonable price. And when you're talking about your head um, and you're talking about the thing that pretty much operates your brain, operates the rest, all the parts of your body, I wanted it to be protected. And so for me, um, I was instructed to go into Revolution Race Gear in Brisbane, choose the helmet I want, make sure it's the one I want, make sure it fits right, and then they would take care of the rest. And that's what I did. I went and picked it up, and it's golden. So uh, these, again, are available through many different um, racewear shops. You can buy them online. Personally, I went through Revolution Race Gear in Brisbane, uh, Steve and Grant there were absolutely fantastic in getting me set up with the right helmet for exactly what I wanted. I told them what I wanted in a helmet, and this is the one they suggested. And so I went and um, spoke to guys that are in the business. Grant runs this, this helmet in his drift car, and so I was like, he's about 6'8". I said, you happy with it? He goes, I love it. And so I went with that option. If you are in the Brisbane area, by all means, drop in and see the guys at Revolution Race Gear. They will be able to sort you out with all your safety needs um, and look after you there. If you are in Melbourne, there is a Revolution Race Gear store down in Melbourne and there is many different distributors throughout Australia. Um, that's not to say you have to get a Bell helmet. This is just my experience. And if you just research online Bell Carbon GT6, this helmet will pop up and I'm sure there'll be a shop close to you that you'll be able to go to and find this exact helmet. I'm looking forward to not having two kilos rolling around on my head during a race meet and having a bit of comfort um, and not coming off track with a headache. So, so much to look forward to. So, next video I'll be setting this one up for a drink system and radio. We'll get that plumbed in and get it ready because next month in just under a month we're going racing again back out at Morgan Park and I cannot wait to test this helmet out and uh, complete the final round for, a, uh, for the Series X3 Queensland um, ready for the new year. So I'm going to go start building a radio and drink system so I can show you guys exactly how I did it. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.